Kelly Osborne and Sid Wilson's baby name dispute resolved with double-barreled surname Kelly Osborne, daughter of Ozzy and Sharon Osborne, shared a personal conflict she and her boyfriend Sid Wilson faced regarding the naming of their son, Sidney. The couple, who have been together since January 2022, experienced their biggest argument over whether their son should carry both of their last names. Osborne initially felt coerced into a decision she opposed, leading to a significant dispute that she thought she could never forgive. However, after engaging in deep discussions and attending couples therapy, Wilson, a member of the band Slipknot, came to understand Osborne's perspective. He agreed to change their son's name to a double-barreled last name, combining both parents' surnames. Osborne emphasized the importance of their son having both last names, as they both contributed to his creation, and neither name should hold more significance over the other. This resolution came after Osborne expressed her newfound joy and fears in motherhood, highlighting the transformative experience of becoming a parent and the daunting responsibility it entails. In addition to sharing her personal story, Osborne's narrative also touches on the broader commitment of HuffPost to provide accessible, high-quality journalism. HuffPost, recognizing the crucial role of informed voters and a free press, maintains its dedication to offering comprehensive coverage without resorting to paywalls, relying on public support to continue delivering news freely accessible to all. This approach underscores the importance of community contributions in sustaining journalism that can inform and engage the public, especially during significant events like the Duomo Vinci e Quattro presidential election. Osborne's experience with Wilson and their journey to compromise reflects the challenges and negotiations inherent in parenting, while also tying back to the larger conversation about the value of accessible information and the collective effort to maintain it.